Hi guys, I am Angel Lovey here from Angel Heart Wisdom 444. I'm going to be doing a reading for the week beginning April 6th to 12th, 2015. Alright, I am calling upon um, Ancient Wisdom Oracle Deck from Tiffany Tolan Scott. I have the angels here with me with your most important messages for this week. All right. I'm going to be doing a three card spread for the week. And the first card that I have is body extroversion. And it's talking about your communication, your truth, your wisdom, your devotion, your openness, your clarity. Your wealth, your riches, your success, your insights, your emotions, your adventure, your light. You could see the mermaid. She's basically ready to go out there. But you could see the light all in her hair, the purple light, your dignity, your compassion, your royalty. The goldfish represents wealth and success. Your ambitions. And the message reads, are you single? Now would be a good time for mingling. Friendship and relationships are plentiful and things look good for a long lasting romantic partnership. Just be careful not to misrepresent yourself or pretend to be something you're not. The second card I have is determination in the reversed position and it's talking about your goals and control. All right. In the upright position, it speaks to um, having enough energy directed to a particular goal. All right. But in the reversed position, uh, it's talking about being careful. And you could see um, the dragon in the background which symbolize your strong will and fiery personality. The green represents good health, direction, hope, vigor, vitality, peace, and fertility. And you can see she's wielding a, a sword. It's signifies her strength, her ambition, her competitive nature, willpower, masculine, as well as masculine power. Okay, you could also see the blue rune in her necklace. Okay, and runes represent magic, pure magic. Right? And the card reads, be careful that you aren't pushing to yourself to go in a direction you don't want to go in just for the sake of going somewhere. You may be pushing yourself away from completing your goals. It's okay to stop and make sure you are heading in the right direction. Don't just barrel onwards if you aren't certain you're heading the right way. All right. The third card 
I have in the reversed position is the divine. It talks about fate and fortune. In the upright position, it um, speaks to things going your way. But in the reversed position, you know, it speaks to things not going your way. You may have to work harder to fulfill your dreams, your goals. Right? You could see that she's sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. Out in nature. She has her antlers. The antlers represent masculinity, sexuality, male aggression, your prize, your trophies. However, the slug, you could see right there, um, speaks to a slow and steady progression towards your goals. The blue speaks to your creativity, your communication. And the card reads, the universe isn't looking out for you, but it isn't out to get you either. You might have to work a little harder to accomplish your goals, but if you set your mind to it, you will achieve them. To recap, you have body in the beginning of the week, Body extroversion, time to mingle, time to go out there. Ask for that raise, that promotion. In the middle of the week, determination, goals, and control. Be careful that you're not pushing yourself to go in a direction that you're not ready to go in and at the end of the week fate and fortune the universe is not out to get you you just need to work a little harder strategize and work harder to move forward it's all about perfect timing i'm gonna call on one more message um from the soul journey oracle message for the universe from the soul journey oracle what is the most important message that you would like us to know for the week trust from the soul journey oracle talking about trust okay. and it reads trust is a vital element in feeling relaxed peaceful and content we need to have trustworthy people in our lives and we need a deep sense of trust in ourselves only a person who has trust in themselves Mankind and the universe is able to be a trustworthy person. Here is a list of some attributes and characteristics of a trustworthy person. Think of some qualities that are trustworthy to you. What things does a safe person exhibit? Who in your life do you feel is trustworthy? Are you? Do you have these attributes? Their actions ma match their words and they keep their word. Their word speaks of love, support and inspiration. They do not plant seeds of fear 
and doubt in the minds of others or themselves. They know what they want and need. They are self-aware and authentic. They are able to make comfortable eye contact. They are patient and good listeners. They are adapt to both giving and receiving. They are accepting of themselves and others. They share their thoughts and feelings respectfully. They do not blame or judge others or themselves. They are accountable. They are kind, compassionate, and thoughtful. Sometimes we trust blindly because of our need for friendship or love. Take the time necessary to discover if the other person is trustworthy. If you take a risk in trusting someone and discover they are not trustworthy, it is important to be able to trust yourself to handle any pain or disappointment. To trust is the dance between having enough self, sense of self to take a risk with others and enough self-love and inner strength to be able to cope and process the outcome, whatever it may be. Trust between two people takes time and many shared experiences of both joy and challenges. Trust is built one brick at a time, cemented together with loving and caring responses with one another. All right. Those are your messages for the week. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. All right. I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know if you're interested in receiving my messages. All right. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you back here soon. Namaste.